Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about a simple C program. So here we have a simple C program to print hello world. And firstly, we have hash include stdio.h. So the hash include here is a preprocessor directive and it will include the file which is given within the ankle brackets into the current source file. And here the file to be included is stdio.h and it is the standard input output library and it is a header file which has the necessary information to include the input output related functions in our program such as printf, scanf, etc. So if you want to use any of these functions you must include stdio.h in the source code. So first line is over then we have int main. So this is where the execution begins from. Operating system initiates the program execution by invoking the main function. And since we have int in place of return type, it will expect an integer value from the main function. We can say that this integer returned represents the status of the program. If any system call error occurs like if any uh, file is not found or if uh, access is denied then it returns the error code. And if the program was executed and completed successfully without any system call errors then it returns a zero. Next we have the opening curly brace. Since C is a block structured programming language, the statements are grouped together to achieve a specific task and we use curly braces to group them. And if you see an opening curly brace, it means the starting point of the block. Next we have printf hello world. So as we said before, printf is a function which is defined in stdio.h header file. Using printf function, we can print the output on the screen. Here, hello world will be printed as the output and not this semicolon here that is important because every statement in C must end with a semicolon. And if we are using printf function and forget to include stdio.h library on the program, then the compiler will throw a warning saying that implicit declaration of built-in function printf. So it is really important to include corresponding header files in the source program. Next we have return 0. As we learned, this integer represents the status of the program and a zero indicates successful execution and a non-zero value indicates a non-successful execution. In main function, we always explicitly return zero and the program execution will be reaching the return zero statement if and only if all the above statements are executed without any system call error. If program execution reaches a return zero statement, we can ensure that there was no system call error in our program. If any error occurred, it would have returned a non-zero integer. And finally, we have the closing brace indicating the end of the block. Hi guys, now you can get a lot of features in the official log to base 2 website. Easy registration and login process. And once you log in, you can access a lot of amazing courses. You can watch the visual tutorials. You can see the examples, solve puzzles and finally practice problems. All in a single page. Visit www.log2base2.com where learning is fun and beautiful. And don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this.